to open up the uh, first Monterey International Pop Festival, we'd like to give you the association. It was fun because in those days we were on the road all the time. We were traveling so hard we never got to hear anybody. So we took a big break when we did Monterey. We opened the festival and we stayed there all three days and all three nights and saw everybody. And it was a great experience for us. And rare too, because as I said, we were on the road so much. One, two. It was kind of, it was very interesting, you know, like a, a real love in, you know, and all this, this stuff, all the stuff that you, you heard about in the about the flower children in the 60s right. it's all true right believe me at monterey it was all true and i mean you could get a contact high in the, the first couple of uh, rows just by sitting there and just breathing the Jimi hendrix experience of course probably the most famous who hendrix story is the monterey story you want to relay that <laughs> It, it, it was blown out of all proportion. I mean, um, now there was quite a, a, an argument because I mean, th there's no doubt that, that a lot of uh, Jimmy's theatrical, uh, the feedback and stuff was actually stolen from Townsend. I mean, I think that is a historical fact. Jimmy did it with a, uh, 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 made it into his own style, but it was Townsend was doing it first. There's no doubt about that. Um, it, I, I, and I think. Uh, it, there's no doubt that Townsend was, it's obvious that Townsend was smashing guitars before Jimmy, but the two styles of playing were different, so it, it never actually bothered me, I mean, I think, but it, but it obviously bothered Pete, and so there was this huge row at Monterey about who would go on first, because Pete knew that, that Jimmy was going to go on and do the, the whole of his, of, of Townsend's act. <laughs> so, uh, they tossed the coin for it, and, um, Jimmy had to go on after the Who, so at least we, but, but I mean, it's, uh, it didn't matter, I mean, Jimmy was still fantastic at Monterey, and, and rather than break his guitar, the story was, you know, it was, it was, it's, it's a legend now, he just, he just went on and burnt it. <laughs>